All right, guys. Welcome to another video. Now I'm probably the only person ever that looks at the weather and think, "Yeah, really good, nice, warm day. I can't wait. Go tents fishing this evening." And then it starts to rain. So yeah, we're going to try and catch a tent in the rain now. <laughs> First tent session of the year. I've been looking forward to this for ages. Still, personally, I think still quite early for them, so I'm not going to be going too heavy on the bait. Loose bait, pallet and maggots. Cast in with a wagger float in close. And uh, hopefully the weather doesn't get too bad. Come on, we're only out for a couple of hours in the evening. I just want to catch one tent. And of course, it's bucketing down. Stay tuned. Let's see if we can get a big dirty tent. Who said tent fishing was a, a nice summer activity? This is shocking. <laughs> so I probably can't see because the camera looks like it's all wet. But I'm soaked. Only me. <sighs> well, that was an experience. So uh, I checked the weather and it said that there may be 45% chance of rain between 7 and 8 o'clock in the evening, which is fine, you know. I left the house at half four thinking, mate, we'll get a few hours and if, if the rain does come then we can we can get home. So I got to the lake about, say, ten past five after I got to the shop and whatever. And it emptied down and like I am completely soaked right through. You know, I'm wearing running trainers and didn't even bring, like, just I'm, I'm completely soaked. I've never ever sat out in rain like that before in my life. There's thunder and lightning and everything in the distance. I had, you know, I had all the bait in the bucket, so I had uh, half a pint of maggots, half a pint of uh, halibut, four mil pallet. Sorry, I thought I was getting a bite. Half a pint of maggots, half a pint of uh, halibut pallets. And uh, the plan was to let you see it, you know, loose bait. Oh, and we got our first lift bite. So I suppose this would be as good a time as any to show you my setup. So I'm using one of my new tense rods for this year. In fact, the only new tense rod. And it's the, the MP DTAC from ProLogic. So it's the 1.75 test curve. But it's plenty of, plenty of give, bit of a fast action on it. So it's perfect for perfect for good size tench. Um, yeah, 10 foot. It's a twin tip as well, comes with a, comes with a feeder tip on it. I'm fishing it with eight pound mainline with quite a long quite a long leader, I don't know if you can see it right to the float there, of uh, six pound fluorocarbon. Size 10 hook, big bunch of red maggots and uh, a couple of big uh, SSG shots then. So uh, obviously fishing the lift method, you've seen me doing it before last year. Fishing about a rod length out, so I like cast it over the, over the bait first. Just letting it settle down then. So no, eight pound is quite a, you know, it's quite a heavy line for tench. But the reason I like using eight pound line, it's because some of the places I fish has really, really thick weed, really thick, you know, vegetation, lilies, that sort of thing. And um, I used to use six pound straight through to the hook all the time. And what I was finding was, once the once the tench lifted the lifted the bait, you hooked into the, it went straight to the weeds every time. And just I thought with the the, the heavier line, I was just pulling through the the, 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 the weed just that bit stronger and I was losing less fish then. Um, so thankfully the rain is starting to ease almost completely. The problem was as well, there was zero wind. So the, the rain clouds weren't getting blew away in any sort of any sort of fast pace. So got completely soaked. Um, yeah, everything's soaked, but we're fishing. Let's see if we can lift something in the next next couple of hours, either that or I'll probably die of some form of hypothermia, but well, if you're not in, you can't win, I suppose. <laughs> okay, welcome back. It's not a new video, like I normally do it a bit of an intro, it just feels like it because it's been a few weeks so i know that you've watched first the first part of the video hopefully you've stayed the whole way through 
and you've seen that I haven't been very successful. I've got soaked, I've got no tench, wasted quite a lot of money on bait and no fish. <laughs> so I've left it a few weeks. The temperature's really got up now. You know, you're into 17, 18, 19 degrees on an average basis, which is uh, perfect obviously to get the tents moving. And yeah, so we've given it a few weeks. Another evening session. I've got the bait. I've got the gear. Let's see if we can finally tick this tench off for the year. Right, sticking with the loose bait. So two pints of red maggots, there's a few four mil halibut pellets and half a tin of sweet corn. And I'm just gonna catapult a load of that out and uh and see if we can get the tench feeding on it. Like what tench doesn't want that? There we go, cast out. Five or six catapults of, of the bait. Not very much. I always make the mistake of putting far, far too much bait out. When I first get there. And I, a lot of the times I think I actually kill the swim before, the, before anything. So I'm trying a different approach. Sort of little enough. And let's see if I can bring them in at all. What I don't like is the wind is cutting right across the swim, but there's not really much I can do about it. At least it's not raining this time. Oh, there's a lift bite. And we're into a fish. That's not a tench. And we have our first roach on the classic lift bite. I can keep hold of them long enough to show you. So, big massive bunch of maggots, still not enough to stop the roach. So, not what we're after, but I'm never saying no to a fish. Oh, that was a tench. I seen that, the big green paddle tail just in the background, coming right up out of the water. That's it, that's going to happen tonight. You can feel it in the water, it's happening. So, whenever I'm fishing the lift method, I know there's all sorts of different ways, but the technique that I like to use is to have it whatever, six inches over depth. I don't like to cock the float straight up and I don't like to leave it flat on its side. I like to leave it sitting at an angle. And basically then if it goes straight up or if it lies flat down then you know you have a bite and that's just always the way I've fished it. And I find that to be the most effective for me. And we're in, finally, finally, on the lift. I'm starting to give up hope. I was really, really starting to think it wasn't gonna happen. Oh, you have no idea how good this feels. Oh, he's going for the weeds. Oh, this feels so good. Good to get back into the tents. Come on away from those lilies. Oh, he's strong. Oh, it's a big snag. No, 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 no. Come on out of there. First tense of the year. On almost the end of the third session. About to call it quits. And we've hooked one. Oh, I forget just how hard these things fight. Awesome. No, 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 come out of that, away from that weed. I don't even think he's that big. 
They're just so strong. I'm glad I have a 1.75 test curve rod because it just soaks up all the all the fight of that get in the net. And there you have it folks. Solid tench, lovely. Solid fish, female. Really, really thick. Oh. Three sessions has took me to get that. Over the moon, first tench of the year. Ah, oh, such a relief. One is doing my head in, two of them constantly going over my line. Like that, absolute pain in the hole. And that's a wrap for another night then folks. Yeah, my old friend the rain has come back out and, well, to put it lightly, he's put a a dampener on things, literally. Um, it's getting a bit dark now. I have a funny feeling it's probably just coming into the time that you really want to be fishing for them. But um, yeah, needs must, must get home. Such a relief. Three sessions and finally, on the like, literally the last half an hour of the third session, then we hit that fish. Oh, brilliant. First tense of the year. Let's go. Hopefully then we many more to come. But uh as usual, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe the video. Um, we're kicking the ass off 3,000 subscribers now, so thank you for everybody that's, that's subscribed. Can't believe just that it's done as well as, as it has. But yeah, stay tuned for the next video and uh, see you then.